I now have a working prototype in Sketch that I've um, exported that I want to show and compare the current site and what my prototype is doing right now. Over here, let's just work from the navigation first. I felt like this was very busy, the Royal Gorge rafting and zipline tours. Um, it's a lot to look at. Uh, the web address is Royal Gorge rafting. I kind of felt like it should stick with that and not stand out too much. And I know as much as you might think like um, I should, you know, the bigger I have my brand, the more they'll recognize it and be like, oh, that's cool. No, they won't. <laughs> um, I'm glad that bigger brands today have their logo really small in the upper left. And that that's good. It helps me to actually just focus on the things that I want from their site and give me more space to see the things that I want. And that's what's important to me. So right now, um, this their current site uh, for Royal Gorge Drafting that did not have the navigation there that was obvious. It has a menu button and it does have this down here, but I kind of expect to see something up here. So in this new design site, uh, these things are definitely the rafting, zipline, lodging, and packages are very front and center, and it's not confused with other um, navigational elements. Like the whole, like over on the original um, homepage, we had our videos, your photos, reservations, click to call. These are given equal size to these ones above. Granted, they're separated by color. These are all grayscale, but they're still distracting. They still distract from the rafting, zipline, lodging, and packages. And um, I know that uh, in some ways they're making this easier for some customers, but for most people just coming, um, it's the more things going on on a page for a new visitor, uh, it it's just takes more time to process the page. Um, so I like to keep navigation as... Uh, as to the core of what is valuable about the business as possible. So again, we have rafting, zipline, lodging, and packages, and then we have a plan reserve button. And, you know, in this screenshot basically here, you can't see like videos or sticky elements, but that navigation bar is always gonna be sticky at the top of the page on every page, and that plan reserve button will never leave you, even when you are on a, the smallest of mobile devices, that plan reserve button will still be very, very accessible. That is just always going to be the case um, because that's what we want. That's the goal. Um, besides that, uh, in the other competitor site uh, I reviewed in a different video, um, a competitor was using like a dark tinted background for the navigation with a video autoplane under that. And that's exactly what we're gonna have here. It's going to be an autoplay video. And we're not, it's not like a, a stealing of uh, the design of the other side. It's just taking some of the elements that worked um, in a broad sense and bringing that into the redesign. So even though right now we're looking at the still picture of rafters going down the Colorado Gorge, in the end, it's going to be an autoplay video of rafting, zip lining, lodging, the, the vacation rentals, and, uh, and the uh, restaurant, the, the Whitewater Bar and Grill, it's gonna have all of that in there. So the video, the autoplay video is going to be the main source of like the experience. It's gonna be really short clips, I'm planning here, short clips of how, just the different experiences that there are. And then notice um, we have big headline, and that can be interchanged with many things. Uh, I kind of back and forth with the client about you know the right kind of headline to use. And we just kind of land on experience adventure for now, but that can easily be swapped out. And then we, it's followed up by plan and reserve, a very strong call to action. And then um, it was important to the client to have down below where it says only two hours from Denver, um, which is uh, you know the capital of Colorado and one hour from Colorado Springs. So they're basically showing just how um, convenient this place is to get to. Um, I guess that's an important point that the client wanted, and so we're gonna stick it in the video, like kinda at the bottom. I did mess around with having uh, the two hours from Denver, one hour from Colorado Springs. I did have it all by itself at one point in this design, but it distracted from 
from the experience of, of everything else. It brought too much weight and attention to the location when really I wanted to focus more, much more attention on just the, the video and what people are doing. And so that's why it's now kind of in the banner. And then next after that, we had the main four section in, in the original site, the raft, zip, stay, and unwind. I did take away all of this text. Um, yeah, you know, this is something I talk with the client about. For SEO's sake, I could see why this text is valuable, but really, I think that we can get good SEO going on this homepage in other ways with social media and, um, and Google Ads. I think there's many other ways to promote this homepage online and not try to game it too much off of words and being really wordy. Um, I really wanted people to interact with this site and get a quick feel for everything that it has to offer. And so that's why I've stripped the text. I've put the words into the picture so that it feels like more like one thing. Um, right here you have the words isolated from the actual, uh, like what's happening. Um, and these large sections will be clickable. And again, these concepts are being taken uh, very literally from, um, I, again, I did that video, uh, the, the 10 secrets behind Apple's winning homepage. Apple does the same thing here, um, having just main sections and not, and trying to not overwhelm you with too much text, um, and trying to give you this broad, uh, spectrum, like experience of all the different things that they have to offer. And I really like that. That really works. For me, it's not overwhelming. I get to pick what I want, and that's exactly what I'm doing on this redesign. Below that, <clears throat> I added something that was not on the current homepage. I feel that social and other people's experiences and me seeing other people's experiences with a business, it does mean a lot to me. And it's not just me. It, it's driving so much decision-making behind what people buy on Amazon. Um, it what other people do does mean something to our purchasing habits and what we choose to experience. So uh, it was a great opportunity here because Royal Gorge Rafting had off the charts social um, uh, social reviews that were just so so positive. So I grabbed that. I stuck the numbers into this. Um, social area here basically to show like hey like the parking lot's full everyone's coming to this thing everyone's having a great time you know no it really just no need to worry if you know if this is going to be the right thing because all these other people loved it and you're going to love it too is the general feel i'm trying to convey here a lot of people might have apprehension because they've never been to royal gorge rafting but when they see that so many other people have experienced it and have had a great time, it helps the trust, helps the people ease into making a decision about planning a reservation. So down below, um, I also have put a map. The original site did not have a map. I feel like for new visitors, or, or if I'm booking a, a stay somewhere or an experience, I need to have that map like really, really obvious. And at one point in this design, I did have a, like if you can imagine, like if you split this area down, I had an actual like Google map there, but when I really more thought about it, I was like, that really consumes a lot of space and I should just have a giant button that's clear that's the map if you want that. Otherwise, um, I just kind of wanted to spur on people getting to that plan reserve button at the footer and making that really pop out. And the other button that pops out is the subscribe button with the orange for their newsletter. So they had a newsletter here and now it's moved into the footer. I don't feel like their newsletter needs uh, this kind of like weird like green layout giant area. I feel like it's very tasteful in the footer on every page um, for people to get into. Um, here for their connect area, I do put their social network stuff in the footer here. Um, but just for the home page, I'm not going to hit all the social and post all the social icons only because um, right above here, again, I'm going into the social network. So I didn't want to have like 
tons and tons of social. Like, here's all the reviews and connect with us social with all these different icons. I didn't want that for the homepage. I felt like it's putting the wrong emphasis. I really just wanted to support someone's feeling of planning and reserving. On other site pages, though, there will be clear social icons on just about, on like all other pages besides the homepage. There will be icons that are large instead of just simple links in the footer. Um, and then that's it. A lot of the stuff about um, like your photos, um, that is now moved into the, the footer again. Just everything else that people, uh, you know, the address, the contact, inf you know, the number and email address, all this is moved into the footer as just to not cloudy the, um, the focus of what this site is all about, which is planning and reserving. That is everything that I've done with the new home page. Um, I'm going to show you um, next like what it I've done once I have this in Sketch, what I start doing with it on a mobile, because then I start breaking down uh, what practically speaking is this home page going to start doing on an iPad, an iPad mini, and an iPhone. So we're going to get into that next.